And I think 2024 is a kind of like a breaking year where people are starting to get it and talk about it. It may be also in light of the human hormone replacement therapy, correct? Well, two things. I think there's human hormone replacement therapy and especially using bioidentical hormones has become more popular. And this is when I couldn't find answers on the veterinary side, I started looking on the human side because there's research there. And there are a couple of interesting things. One is for women, uh, if we have an ovarian cyst that looks a little suspicious, unfortunately, the cancer screening tests are not very good. And so the standard operating procedure is to remove both ovaries at the same time. Well, I was in this position. I had all the right risk factors to have ovarian cancer, which is just hideous. So I did, did a lot of research, and there was a paper that had just came, come out, and it said that if you take both ovaries from a woman before the age of 64, you will take four years off of her life, all cause mortality. Mm -hmm. And I had to, I had to send my OBGYN the paper to, to really convince her to, to leave the left ovary. And the interesting thing is that she told me is that, and this is sort of a segue, but ovarian cancer is actually coming from the fallopian tubes, not the ovaries. So they, she did take both of those, but that was like, holy mm -hmm. smokes. And by 64, most women have been in menopause for mm -hmm. at least a decade. So it's not the menopause that reduces their lifespan. It's taking the source of the hormone production, even though it is diminished, away from them. And so that really codified to me, what have we done to our dogs? What are we doing to our dogs? 